So the first device that we're going to configure is the Android device because it's the easiest to put together. So we'll go over here to our Android device. Now there's a couple things that we have to do on this device to make it so that we can develop. The first thing is to go to your Play Store or Android Market and you want to search for two apps. The first of which is Adobe Air. Now this is critical because all of the applications you're going to run will run inside of this application. Now I've already installed it but you want to make sure you do install it. And then the second one that you want is Flash Player. A lot of devices already come with Flash Player pre-installed so you want to check and just make sure that you have it installed. I already have it installed on here. The second thing that you have to do on your device is to browse to your settings application. Go to your applications setting and turn on unknown sources. So if you can see when you turn it on, it will ask you, and you say, okay. And then you want to go to development and turn on USB debugging. Now this allows the computer to connect to the Android phone while, it's, while you're trying to debug. Um, you can also turn on the stay awake mode, which is kind of handy if you're debugging. It makes it so that the screen doesn't turn off, so you can see what you're doing all the time. You could turn on allow mock locations if you're working on a location-based app, because what that allows you to do is to tell the phone that it's somewhere else where it's not. So if you're in Maine, where I am, and you want to test a location-based app to make sure that it works in California, you can tell the phone that it's in California. So that's all for that. Now on your computer side over here, you may think that you need to install the Android SDK. Well, that's not true. You don't need to install the Android SDK. Adobe has made Flash Builder very compatible with Android. So you don't actually have to do anything inside of Flash Builder to make it work with Android development because it comes pre-installed with the Android SDK inside of Flash Builder. It's very nice. Now, if you want to use your own custom Android SDK because you have some kind of configurations that are different, you're allowed to do that. That's inside of the Flash Builder preferences. I'm not going to go into that because there you shouldn't you shouldn't need to do that. So our Android device is all configured. Now we'll move on to the playbook.